My Hero Academia's One's Justice has everybody talking. The fan base that has grown from My Hero's manga and anime are constantly growing every single day. The manga along with the anime is very popular and when season 2 of the anime aired in 2017, it took the entire anime community by storm. With that being said, of course when the news came that a new game will be releasing for both Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4, our excitement levels nearly peaked. Riding on the hype train that is My Hero Academia 1's Justice, my friend the Frozen Cavern and I have decided to give you guys five things that we would really love to be in this game. We can't wait to share these things with you. We know that maybe not all the things said here will happen in the game, but even if like two or three of these things do happen in the game, then this game will be destined for greatness. Without any further delay though, we bring to you our five hopes for My Hero Academia 1's Justice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, really quick guys, if you have not already or are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so you will never miss another video again. Thank you and enjoy. Multiple game modes. This is a pretty obvious one. You have the online mode, the story mode, exhibition mode, and training, but that's the bare minimum and the potential of this game could bring more to the table. There could be an endless mode to see how long you survive, a tag team mode for 2 on 2 or 3 on 3 fights, which the anime itself does actually have happen pretty decently often. This universe also gets potential for more than just what it requires in a fighting game. There could be a challenge mode to try and win under certain circumstances, and even a mock-up exam mode which would work similarly to the interest exam in the anime, and would have leaderboards to see who could get the highest score possible. Besides fun gameplay, the biggest thing for me when it comes to a fighting game is its roster. Having the option to choose any character I want, one I want, and use them how I want. Keyword in that sentence is options. Having multiple options in a fighting game is one of the reasons so many fighting games thrive like they do. We've recently gotten confirmation that All Might will be playable in this game. This opens the door for other teachers to end up being playable as well. Maybe we could see people like Midnight, Eraserhead, 13, the list this goes on and on. Given we have no clue how far into the manga or anime this game will go, maybe it goes up to where the manga is or maybe it stops where season 2 stopped. We have no clue yet, so that will play a direct factor into how many characters we can play as. Balanced characters. Am I expecting this game to be highly competitive? No. Do I want there to be only maybe 5 characters that you have to play or ban in order to win? No. Having extremely broken characters make the game boring because those are the only characters people are going to play and anyone who wants to play a character they would love to play might not even be fun anymore because the majority would play these characters. Most anime games like Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Naruto Ninja Storm have larger amounts of characters but you wouldn't bother using a fourth of the characters because they can't stand a chance against any others. And yes, I understand that tier lists exist and it is impossible to have every single character in a game extremely balanced. Dragon Ball Fighters is extremely close, but even then, there are still a few differences that can put certain characters above others. It overall makes the game not fun and boring for others to see if tournaments do come around for this game. I believe that it is very possible that My Hero Academia 1's Justice could not follow the story presented in the anime and manga at all. Maybe it takes place in between certain arcs like things we don't get to read or see. What I'm getting at is what if this game has an alternative story. I think it's highly possible. This doesn't mean they'll add new characters or anything, but maybe what's happening in the world of the video game is just different. Since we're speaking about the story, I think it would be a really fun idea if we got to experience the heroes' lives in UA. I think doing little quests for people would be fun. An important thing about My Hero Academia is that although these guys and girls are training to be heroes, they have normal lives as teenagers. They have people that care for them, they have families that cook breakfast for them in the morning and make them dinner at night before they go to sleep. I think that if the game focuses on that aspect or maybe we could get something like an adventure mode where you got to experience things like this, it would make for a really amazing experience. Unique stages. This sounds a little strange, but let me explain. Stages in most fighting games don't matter too much. However, this game has the potential to make some stages more dynamic than others with the anime having some locations made for specific conditions due to hazards. Walls that you can run up, fire preventing you from going somewhere, different heights of the terrain. I want to be able to tell one map from another if the textures were removed. If you imagine that the textures are gone and you look like you're running around on the same flat surface, then that can get boring and people just might not even care about where they go. Plus if you care a little bit too much about the hazards then maybe there could be an option to turn them off.
First things first though, a big shout out to my friend the Frozen Cavern for helping me make this video. I had a ton of fun making this video with him and I guarantee that you will be seeing him on the channel a lot in the coming future. Subscribe to his channel, he makes amazing content that you all need to see. His channel will be the first link in the description below so please go check him out. If you enjoyed today's video though, leave a like. It lets me know if you enjoyed content like this and motivates me to make even more if this video could reach maybe 15 likes. I think I'd be very satisfied with that. Plus, if we can reach that within the next week it guarantees that the next time something big about this game drops i'll be here to cover it day one sharing this video is another fantastic way of supporting the channel whether it's through your discord servers twitter facebook to a friend via text message trust me you name it and it will go a long way last but most certainly not least subscribe if you have not already we are closing in on 500 subscribers really fast and it's because of all the support you guys have shown me thank you guys so much for everything you do for this channel my name is and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Yeah.